Hello again, welcome back uh, to part three of uh, learning a vocal solo. Uh, tips for success. I hope uh, you've watched the first two parts and have gotten some uh, help out of those videos. Uh, my name is Jamie Burrett. Uh, I teach at Lewiston Porter Central Schools and I direct the Vocalist Chamber Choir. So let's finish up the process here in part three um, of learning a solo. Uh, hopefully these again are helpful for you. Number five in the process is memorize. Notice this, I say this, this is not the last step of the process. I think what I've discovered with my students is they wait too long to start memorizing their vocal solo. So don't wait to memorize. It shouldn't be the, the very beginning step, but after the notes and rhythms and markings are well learned, uh, you should start memory work. Um, that's really important. Uh, to get that memory to be long-term, you need to start earlier than I think a lot of students do. So don't wait too long. Now let's talk about what I mean by memorization. What are you memorizing? Obviously you've done the work, so you have notes and rhythms learned, um, but you have to also memorize the markings in the piece, the dynamics of the piece, yeah? The lows and softs, the expressive markings. Um, you have to memorize where the breaths are in the piece. I'm sure you've experienced, if you've done one before, that you forget to take a breath the way you're supposed to, and it doesn't quite work. And then the rest of the piece gets a little bit off because you didn't breathe in the right spot. So you need to memorize the breaths and where you're taking them. That's part of the process. You also have to memorize the form of the piece. And this is important and actually really quite helpful because, for example, if you have a piece that's an ABA form. It's got a musical idea to start. Then you have a different musical idea, which is the B section. And then you come back to the A section. That actually helps you with memory. You're like, oh, okay. The words in the A section come back. And that process actually is really quite useful. The process of knowing what the form of the piece is, that it's in three parts or two parts or, or whatever it happens to be. So knowing the form of the piece, the structure of the piece is really helpful. The, the melodies and the words in the A section will come back later on, and now you're doing less work in memory. Very important to what we talked about last time, you're also memorizing the meaning of the text, the intention of your character, who you are, what the lyrics are saying, and how you express the character's thoughts in this piece of music. Um, obviously, the text and the lyrics themselves, especially if they're in a different language, will take a little more to memorize, but you also have to memorize that. So the next step are some just some thoughts for how you memorize. I think that can be daunting. Uh, you will certainly get a good start of memorizing just by doing it quite a bit. It will start to memorize itself. But what I would suggest is you go section by section, set small goals and, and, and do those sections over and over again. You don't need to do it all at once. Um, for me, I found that speaking the lyrics can be really helpful and then speaking them on rhythm, which we spoke about as well, accomplishes if I speak the text on rhythm, I'm memorizing the words, but I'm also memorizing the rhythm, then go to singing. So when you're memorizing each of these sections, speak the words. And then once you're confident with that, then you can add the, the singing on top of it. A couple things too. I've written here, write them out. If I have a lot of words in a song, I actually find it really helpful to just get a piece of paper and start writing out the lyrics and do that over and over again. And um, even if you have to glance at the score and make sure you're writing the, the correct lyrics initially, by the time you do that three or four times, you don't have to glance at your music as much and you're finding that the process of writing the words is helping you memorize it. And the last point on this here, it says, Memory can happen throughout the day. Um, running lyrics can happen anywhere in your head. Uh, you're, you're between classes and you just want to run the first verse of your song in your head as you're walking through the hallways. Um, that actually can be really helpful. Even just a few minutes at a time can help you really quickly get the uh, piece in your, in your brain. Okay, so memory is not the last step, but it, it's important to kind of chunk it up into smaller bits to help you out. So let's take a glance at this score for a second, since we talked about memory. So here's what you're memorizing here. Obviously, you've got the lyrics here in Shenandoah that have to be memorized. You've got the rhythm that has to be memorized. Notice the dynamic markings that have to be memorized as well. 
I have added in breath marks in green. That is also part of the process. You have to mentally know that, okay, I'm breathing after the first you, uh, and that's where I'm gonna take my breath. And then the next line, I'm breathing after river. Um, and then in the last line, I've added a marking where I'm not going to breathe here between these two moments, right? So I've added in some markings where I don't breathe as well, and that also has to be part of your memorization. So that's really important is uh, chunk it up, make sure you're memorizing not just the, the notes and the rhythms, but all of the markings on the page. And that includes the expressive markings. Speaking of expression, this is our last step, putting it all together. Now, you will be working on expression early on. You should be trying to be expressive in your singing early on. However, in order to really work on expression, you need to be really well memorized. And that will get the most emotionally out of the piece, right? So only after you've become memorized with notes and rhythms and markings and you understand the context in the background of the piece, who your character is in the story, you are good with the, the text of the, of the piece, if it's another language, the diction, and you've really practiced all of that. But once you've memorized and worked on all of those things, it's this amazing feeling where you're free. You're really free to truly express what the piece is about, right? So I would really encourage you to, to, to make sure that memory comes early enough in the process so that you can start to forget about all of these individual tasks that you have to do. You don't have to think anymore about notes and rhythms. You don't have to think about the dynamics or where you're breathing. You've already memorized that. Now your only focus is on expressing the emotion of the story that you're telling and on acting the intent of the composer. Once you get there uh, and you can really spend a lot of time on expression, now you're becoming really uh, an artist and you're not just going through the motions, but you are becoming that character and you're making the judges or your audience really feel something. So memory is really important because then it really allows you to play around with expressing everything that the composer intends. So don't wait on the memory. And that allows you to play and just really enjoy yourself and become the character and give the best artistic performance you can. That's it for me. Um, I hope these tips help you. And uh, I wish you the best of luck as you uh, go through your journey and uh, singing uh, solos and uh, being a part of your school uh, uh, music program. So thanks for listening and uh, wish you the best of luck. Take care.